Well, howdy, howdy. Yes, continuing the theme of the Boeings is a revelation for me, eh? Um, what do we reckon this is then? Place your bets, place your bets. Do we know? Do we know? Have a guess. Pause the video down in the uh, doobly do in the comments. What do you think this aircraft is? We'll give you a clue. It's a classic. So it's no longer operated by British Airways. Um, not that old, but it's um, it's certainly uh, part of the classic fleet now. Um, we know the Boeing. That's your clue. How about now? Oh, look at that lovely colour. Oh, horrible, horrible, horrible. Uh, yes, it is the seven five seven two hundred uh, with the Pratt and Whitney engines. Because uh, I haven't paid for the uh, the proper ones. Um, so right, I've got to remember how on earth this thing works. <laughs> <laughs> uh so I guess we'll uh, we'll open some doors. Uh we'll put some chocks on as well, I guess. Uh yeah, let's open some cargo doors. Or do we actually have to open the APU things as well? Um Yeah, so we've got these sim icons. Oh, my head's in the way. Ah, no, I didn't want to do that. Oh, no. Oh, he's oh, he's knackered it right up there. I have as well. Oh, bummer. There we go. I think that's right. So behind my head there, we've got some sim icons. Um, I don't know if I can actually move. Yeah, I, I can't. Oh. Um, hey. I can't, ooh, I can't actually move that panel, so, um, yeah, you can't see that. That's a bit annoying. Uh, oops, don't need that, don't need that yet, don't need that yet, not got that far. Um, So yes, yeah, so there we are with some doors open. Uh, we're currently sat at uh, LFPG, Paris Charles de Gaulle. And um, yeah, I, I really can't remember how to fly this aircraft. So we'll see how it goes. That can go away straight away. Um, I need to remember how... We put the ground power on because imagine these batteries ain't gonna last long. Um, here's all your power stuff. Where is external power? This is exactly how it started up. I've not actually done anything yet. Um, That's external power. You're probably all shouting at me saying, oh, it doesn't have it. Or, yeah, on DC, yeah, I know that. Battery's on. I was expecting to see it down here somewhere. as like, you know, so you can tie the external power in. Huh. Oh. I am not seeing it at all. I'm... Oh, external power. It's right there, you doofus. Uh, so how do I connect to external power then? Is it not on that list? It appears not. Oh, external power hatch. Is that now... Right, so that's the external power hatch open. How do I actually... Uh, oh, it's there. Ah, there we go. Cladoink! 
Right. Fantastic. I can uh, stop panicking now. Make sure the engines aren't on. No, they're not. That's good. Uh, fuel to cut off and parking brake can come on. Right, okay, cool. <laughs> We're at a point now where we can start pushing some buttons and, and figuring, figuring stuff out. So, the active database is... April, yep, so that's been updated. Yeah, I did update my um, charts and everything. So, ref airport, here we go. L, F, where are we? EG. No matter how many times I'm, I use a sequential keyboard like this, I still can't, I'm still looking for QWERTY and it just throws me off. Uh, gate is a good question. We are currently sat at D16. What's the betting that doesn't work? Oh, it did. Ah. Well, there you go. Oh, um, yeah. That was stupid. Page. Next page. Next page. Okay, cool. So so that did some things. Champion. Right, PFPX. I've also been farting about with PFPX uh, to get the profile in for the 7.5 and, um, yeah, the new routes and all that sort of thing. We have got a company route. Excuse me, being a tramp drinking straight out of the bowl. Um, so 240 is our cruise, which is... Hi, really, but that's what it says on BA Virtual, so that's what I'm going with. Uh, I think cost index was 70. That's just what PFPX defaulted to, and I don't think I changed it. Mind you, for a flight like this, it's largely irrelevant anyway. Um, zero fuel weight, 79094 tons. Balls, this is going to be in pounds, isn't it? Can I change that? I don't think I can. Oh, come on then, Google. Right, so zero fuel weight seventy nine zero nine four kilograms in Lubber. Is one seven four three seven two. Uh, one seven four point four. Always rounding up. Uh, reserves. I don't know how we load fuel in either, actually. So fuel five two four one. Uh one one five five four. Hmm. Do I have to do it? From oh, I can move that A little hand icon. So to load fuel, do I have to do it through FSX? Because there's no like dispatcher or anything. I, I know. So this is the Captain Sim one, and um, I know it is clunky. So right. Oh. So we want 5241, now this is in kilograms, so that's quite nice. Uh, so 5241 is going to be 2526 21. So 
So it will round up. And then payload. So we do have cargo. I just hit random on PFPX. We've got 8864, so that's 4432. And then we'll have a look what the balance looks like once we've got everything in. Passengers business class. Well, how many passengers? 141. So we'll say we've got. 21 of them and then 120 in the back balance looks i don't know where it should be but it's roughly a th quarter of mean aer aerodynamic cord which is in the good area at least so that gives us an empty weight of 58 sorry no that's not what i'm looking for uh, gross weight of 72698 is light. Halo. The dry operating weight 56749. Whereas this reckons is empty weight, zero fuel weight then. I wouldn't have thought so because you would expect it to be under payload then. So zero fuel weight includes your payload. Well, whatever, we'll wing it. We shall wing it. So fuel was 11.6, so that's fine. Right, so that, that's gone in. Uh, of that, our reserves... I assume it's of that is your reserves. I assume that's not added on. And sorry about the sound, I have to keep tabbing out to convert all this into pounds. Uh, is 1513 kilos is 3335. So, and I'm going to round that down. Bummer. Three. 3.3 of that is reserves. Through C of G. I don't think I'm going to know that. Uh, so, right, yeah, we'll chin that idea off then. So that's perf in it done. So, root. <laughs> LFPG EGLL. Mash in. And we are, our flight number is CE303, activate, execute, well that looked like it did some things, well that's good, and then if I pull up Navigraph charts, we're going to be going off so I've spawned in at Terminal 2, which I don't think is where BA went, and it doesn't really make a great deal of sense, but they're currently going off easterlies, so we're going to be on 08 left, and then we're going to be on the Opal, Opale, something like that anyway. Opale, and what have we got? We've got the three hotel or the three Lima. What's the difference? That doesn't seem to be one, but clearly there will be. One prop and one jet? what I'm looking at. So Paul, Pale, three hotel, three Lima. It's the same route, but what the hell's the difference?
Is it going to be on? No, it doesn't say anything there. In that. Nope. Airport briefing. Wondering what the hell the difference between those two. Uh, that's arrivals. I don't want to. Um, I don't care about any of that, don't care about any of that, the ice in, no, don't care about any of that either. Ah. No. I'm sure there is something here, but I'm not seeing it. Pilots of turbojet, bloody bloody blah, yeah. Initial climb curves, jet, that's fine. Don't care about any of that. The lumps, I, I don't see. Oh! Ah, this is for both runways, right. So one is for eight left and one's for eight right. However, this particular chart doesn't allude to which is which. Normally it would say up here. Simultaneous parallel departures. Holy moly. I'm going to guess H. Um, well, it's let me key it in, so that's something. Um, so we'll do that. Okay, flaps we're going to take flap 5, I haven't got any way of calculating a D rate, so we'll just have to go full what's it my jig, full power, weather, okay I can do that. That one I can do. Conditions. Conditions at aircraft position. Winds are 258 at 6. Slope. Not a clue. Uh, temperature is a whopping 19 degrees in Paris. Nice. Slope will be 0 actually because it's FSX. That's, that's easy. Yeah, I don't know how to key any of the other stuff in there, so I'm just going to uh, ignore it. Transition. Oh, it's got the transition correct. 5,000 feet, which it is for Paris. We've got some numbers and some things. Uh, transit. Oh, that's for arrival, which is going to be 7,500. Okay. Oh, this is where I'm going to find the... Switch to kilos, isn't it? I don't know, maybe not. Oh, options, here we go. Yeah, select your weight units, kilos. Get on it, man. Get on it. Wicked. 
Press jet weight. Oh, and we can do pushbacks from here as well. Okay, so... Opal to Kessex. Oh, right, we can literally just delete that. Invalid delete. Ah, there we go. And then we do a direct. Yeah, that's fine. Cool, happy days. We're winning, we're winning. We are winning. Q and H is 1017. So in that goes. There and thereabouts. Close enough for me. And no. Uh, Navrad. Yeah, it's done all of that. We don't need any of that. We don't need any of that. Alternates. Uh, in fact, we don't need any of that either. Cool. Right. So that's the computer set up. We're getting there. I want that on W plus T. Um, and we'll turn that on when we're not going to fry everyone's brains. Don't need to do anything down there. Don't really care about the co-pilots one. Don't need to do anything there. So, the MCP. Uh, we'll cane it straight up to 250. We'll take runway... No, we won't take runway heading. We'll take 085, which is what we're supposed to do. Oh, there we go. Um, initial clearance is flight level 100. So that's already in, actually. That's handy. Um, but yeah, runway conditions are wet, wet, wet. Feel it in my fingers. Uh, we will put that on. We don't need those on just yet. Logo light, I suppose, can come on. Um, now, this is not a dark cockpit, of course, so lights mean bad things. Don't need to do anything up there anyway. I'll turn on the heaters before it fogs up these need to be aligned we'll set them to align be paused uh yeah i'm probably not even going to need the irs to be honest um hydraulic pumps well we can't do that just yet that's on so actually we're probably we don't need anti IC either because it's quite warm. Yeah, we're pretty much ready to fire up the APU and get this show on the road. Uh, yeah, tons of warnings there. Don't care about them yet, anyway. Got the funny auto land thing. And how do I change the zoom, not that, on the nav display? Imagine it's down here. Yes, it is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's all right. Nice. And then, yeah, I must remember to do the uh, engine rating side of things as well. So, that's back. We'll pull the stab trim back to where it needs to be. Excuse me. Oh, we've got no hydraulics, have we? So, yeah, that's not going to work. Enter inertial position. Do not do that.
There we go. So we've just got to wait for these then to um, kick into life. That's caught me out before, not doing the uh, inertial, and you can't have the engines on um, whilst it's aligning. So we'll assume everyone's in, so we can close some doors. I'll leave the pilots on, why not? Uh, entry door can close. Sound change slightly. Can I? Harris alignment is on fast. Okay, so I can't really do much. Come on, IRS. Oh, in fact, it's not flashing, so that probably means it's good. Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's flashing when it's aligning. Right, so that is good. Um, so, no, no, that's, that's completely the wrong button. Uh, we need a poo. We need a poo, indeed. Now, how do I view... Can I even change these screens to show me the APU? Probably not. Oh, I can hear it firing up though. You see the hatch? Is the APU intake? Oh, it's there, isn't it? Yeah. That should be the APU fired up. Yes, run. There we go. Lovely. So we can turn the external power off and get rid of that. There we are, lovely. APU's on, wheel chocks are good. So we can push, yeah? I think we can. Let's do it. Now we want to go tail left. We move in. Yes, we are. Right now, this is really is where I need to remember how. Oh, wheel chocks. How to start? These old engines. There we go. Ground. And then I probably need to turn a bleed on somewhere as well. Oh, so that's some hawky borky pushback, that is. Uh Right, where's the bleeds? Where's the bleed? Where's the bleed? Might as well just leave them on. AP bleed, where are you? Where are you? <coughs> Excuse me. 
air is all over here, isn't it? Ay, 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 ay. Ah, APU bleed there. Found it. Yes, there we go. There's engine number one starting to fan up. So we'll just let it uh, spool up a smidge before putting the fuel in. 20%, that looks as good as any. Lovely, so that's engine number one more or less up and running. Now we'll do engine number two. Oh, it's not actually. Oh, there we go, there we go, it's kicked in now. But why have we got no bleed? Oh, valve's just opened. Right. Still got no bleed. Why no bleed there? Why no buttons worky? I get no air coming in. Ah. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Forget it's a dark cockpit. Sorry, uh, not a dark cockpit. So in goes the fuel. Uh, I've got the best fuel. I've got that. It's horrible. Ugh. So what comes the second engine? Uh, we don't need the APU now. The APU can be stopped. There's no fuel in the centre, so there's absolutely no point in those. Uh, taxi lights can come on. Just about ready to push back to the stand now with several engines. Right, we've done that. Pay all attention, please, to the comfortable safety briefing that we share fairly shortly. In the meantime, make yourselves as comfortable as possible and enjoy the takeoff. Very So, I think we are ready to tax ski. Now, I wasn't paying much attention on that pushback. That's zero eight left. That's where we want to go. Straight along, swing a left, and a bit of a jiggeroo. Okay, fine. <clears throat> right, here we go then. Let's get this party on the road. Where's the actual taxiway?
Okay, break check. Yeah, all good. Okie dokie. TCAS is off. I can fix that. There we go. Excellent. So we are going to want LNAV VNAV, but initially we'll want hold and we'll want probably vertical speed. Oh no, it won't let me do that. Thought I might be able to pre select some of these. forgotten where we're going. I think we can go straight here. I was originally going to go left, but... What on earth is that? Protecting? Oh no, yeah, we, we are uh, we are winning. God, I just really am not familiar with this aircraft in the slightest. And it doesn't help that it's absolutely hoofing it down with rain. Taxiing up to the usual standards. Uh, and actually, we get rid of the outflow valve mode. Come on, more engine, please. Go. Progress. So I think it's probably going to be a lot of hand flying of this. Hey. Uh, got the wrong chart up. That's probably not helping me. And down there, so we want to swing a right and then a left. That's all, mate. Okay, I was going to say that term. <laughs> Not anymore. Going a little bit too fast on the tech ski. Uh, oh, Q and H one zero one seven. Oh, keep going. And that'll 
actually give us full runway length, not that we'll need it, but... Stay in the inside view, because then you can't see me <laughs> cutting over the grass. <laughs> Driving me mad on the rudder pedals. There we go. Oh, that's better. Okay, so strobes on, lights on, transponder on. Why oh, these brakes are. Uh, not amazing. Auto brake uh, is RTO. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I want takeoff power. Thank you. Um, that's all set. That's fine. Don't need to do anything there. We'll check recall. Oh, hello. Recall is checked. No warnings whatsoever. Everything's set up. Everything's good down here. Nothing to worry about up here. So, onto the runway we go. And we'll arm the auto throttle. And now I've got to find the toga button. Oh god, I've just kicked my rudder pedals the wrong way. There we go. Uh, and the auto throttle button is normally a hidden button somewhere. hoping it was going to be one of these little screws it clearly is not it's not on the yoke is it that's an autopilot disconnect no it's not going to be that oh come on go away go um put that put the weather radar on where is the toga toga button Toga, toga, toga. All right, well, I'll do that. Oh, I can't remember what the V speeds were. One forty. The nose is wanting to come up, so uh, we should let it. Let's get some trim sorted out because I'm battling this at the moment. So why can't I turn the auto throttles on? Well, 
let me do EPR. Ah, well, that'll do it. Oh, we're going a bit fast for the flaps. So, taxi lights can come off, gear can go to off, there we go, something that's easy to forget, uh, and logo light and wing light can come off, don't need them though. And we are on our merry way. where the throttles are really hawky balky on this as Biffa would say and I'm going to clear us up to flight level 240 since we're not online Condition. Yes, we are. Uh, we want to be on climb power, really. Oh, so we have to. Ah, I see. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, above flight level one hundred. So lights off. And uh, we can go to standard. How do you do that? Is there a button? No, is there hell? So over to standard pressure 1013 on both our dials. Not falling out of the sky yet, I'm working on it though. It's a bit blowy, isn't it? A bit windy. God, it's an ugly plane. <laughs> Not my favourite plane to fly. I've flown in seven fives many times, and uh, they're noisy and horrible. I don't like them at all. So I'm just going to reload Navigraph charts. It was throwing a bit of a wobble. Right, there we go. Load that up. We'll go en route. Only four waypoints actually on the route, which is quite amusing. Could not connect to simulator. That's because, right, I know why it is. It's because it's just done a flipping update. What on earth is going on here? Can I just do a direct to Opal, please? because it seems to be having a whale of a time trying to capture this track. I don't know why it's struggling so much. But it's, uh, it's having a hell of a time. God, we're almost at cruise actually, that was quick. 
so let's have a look at landing then. Uh, the weather at Heathrow is currently EGLL 56 at 8 knots. So, oh, so we're going to be landing on 9. Oh, okay. Right, fine. Uh, let's get rid of some of these charts. No, that's not what I wanted. And then we'll have a have a look at landing then, because we'll we'll be at top of descent reasonably quick. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. And get rid of that. Don't need any of them. So Heathrow, open charts list. And yeah, we're pretty much at cruise. So let's have a look. Um, our final waypoint is Alesso, down here in the channel. So we'll be on the uh, Alesso arrival then, I, I suppose. Um, so from then begin, And we'll be coming on on nine right, for want of a better idea. Uh, so nine right, and we'll do the ILS. I don't trust the RNAV in this thing. So there we go. Uh, and then we can do a nice gentle uh, break as well, so we can come off uh, terminal. Oh no. No, we want to we want to weigh the anchors, don't we? Because we want to come off for Terminal Five, which is at the west end. Um, yeah, we do. So if we're coming in on nine right, we're going to have to double back to park. Okay, well that's fine. So into a lesso then. Um, we need to be at flight level one eighty here, at flight level seventy here. Okay, cool. Right, I'm going to leave you with some cinematics. I just need to nip to the low. I'm absolutely bursting. Oh. Have some, some cinematics there. Just two minutes. She's a noisy bugger. Hockey ducker. So here we are. Um, I want to move that. <laughs> Actually, I can't, can I? Okay, fine, whatever. Be like that. So top of descent's actually before a lesso. So we need to do our arrival planning already. into LFPG. Now I don't want to do that. Why 
why is it not letting me do arrival into uh, Heathrow? That's all okay, that's all okay. LFPG arrivals. I want LFPG arrivals. I want Heathrow arrivals. What? Oh, there we go. I clearly click the wrong flipping button so I'm being a div. Uh, Alasso One Hotel with the was it Biggin Hill? Yeah Biggin Hill. Uh, Biggin Hill transition execute. Lovely jubbly. And then can we have a look at the plan? Yes we can. Insufficient fuel. Yeah we'll see about that. So I'm in plan mode. Ah, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. That doesn't look right. Begin, we go to begin twenty nine. Start off with your insufficient fuel. Oh, there we go, that looks better. That's better. That's how you step through. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Right, that's exactly what I wanted. Approach ref, so we've got 125 knots as our V ref. ILS is all on there. That should auto do its thingy majig. Transition. It's also flicked over to cruise condition, that's fine. Excellent, right, okay, I think we are, uh, we're winning, mate. So do I have to do anything in the VMAV then for it to calculate our descent? Might have to click that, I'm not, uh, I'm not entirely sure. I've still got a while for till top a drop anyway, so I'm not, not uh, engaging panic stations just yet. And the ILS intercept is 2,500. Cool. Okay. And the 
throttles are doing their hawky balky usual thing. Just seriously, oh my god. So do I have to press any buttons? I don't think I do. Do I need to press any buttons when we get towards landing? I don't think we do. Why is descent after parking? I don't understand. What else have we got? No? Someone gobbling off in German. So we're doing good. Doing good. So it was moaning about fuel being low. So can we get a prediction? 4.3 tonnes on landing. Well, considering we only had flipping six or something to start with, I wouldn't say we're low. I'm leaving France behind us, heading towards the wonderful white cliffs, which are probably going to be obscured by these cumulus clouds. Thank you very much, UK weather. You just see a bit of cliff there. Have I got? No. Yeah, lovely. Simulation paused. Uh, why? I don't want to be paused. That's the first officer view, apparently. I beg to differ. I should do some landings in this seat, it would really throw me off. That could be quite good fun. First officer update. A bit more forwards. A bit down. Close enough. <clears throat> FMC Massage. Ooh, we're nearly at top of drop. Reset MCP altitude. Gotcha. Uh, so we'll take us down to 7,000. Spin, spin, spin. Don't 
done that. Are you happy now? Dunno. Nearly at the top of drop though. Can we see the white cliffs? Have we uh, already passed it? Or is it covered behind a load of cloud? Yeah, it's covered behind a load of cloud. Never mind. And our descent has started already. Wow, look at that. Very short hop. Nice. Yeah, not sure if I like this plane. It's just not as nice to fly as the 7.0 or the uh, 742. Well, obviously, it's a completely different aircraft, but in terms of the old aircraft. Um, I just don't like the way the throttles keep spazzing out like that. Why are we now on go around? Never mind. Whatever. You do you, plane. You do you. So 109.5 is what we want. Do I actually have to key that in? No, it's going to be auto. That's fine. Drag required. I hear you. I just want to get a nice view. And it immediately puts the it spools the engines up. I say drag required, and then immediately spool up the engines. Stupid thing. So let me get my chart up. There we go. Yeah, moving maps just completely bought, so that's not working. <laughs> The trim is well up there. Not a lot to do. We can zoom in. We're passing at Vax. And we should be at flight level 180. And the flight computer's just decided to completely punch through that. In fact, the speed we're descending, it probably probably were at it, but uh, absolutely plummeting towards Biggin Hill. We want to be at flight level 7-0 at Biggin. And it looks like we're going to do that. Well, it also looks like it's giving zero Fs about our airspeed. We'll be down at 7-0 pretty quick and then we can pull the speed back. It's the QNH at London. 1-0-2-0. Still nice and tight. Oh, I've done it again. Track required. I hear you. So, yeah, once the decelerators 
now. It's slowly started arresting the descent. In fact, it's almost completely arrested the descent. Let's realise we need to uh, slow right down before we hit flight level 100 because we've got to be uh, 250 knots or lower. Starting to put the throttles back in, so we'll kill the drag. Warning's gone. Check recall, there's nothing to be seen. That's going to do a bit more descend. Okay, that's fine. And as we're approaching flight level 100, a light's on. Drag, yeah, more drag. So it's flight, past flight level 100 now. And uh, not, I don't know why it's so intent on falling at 3,000 feet a minute. It's no wonder the speed's getting away from us. Okay, we'll take auto brake three. That's 7,500, so we can go over onto the local Q&H of 1020. That's enough. Zero two zero. And we want the speed right back. Five point one is big in. Okay, cool. And now we're on the initial approach chart. Uh, we need to be at or above 6,000. Uh, by the time we get to big 26, big 29, at or above 6,000. So we'll say at, please. Max 180 knots. Speed's coming back nicely now. I'll we'll take flat one. As we can see, <laughs> when the texture loads in, there we go, you can see the slats are coming down, or are now down, that's flat one, and uh, we'll actually go and take flat five. That's 
lap 5. Um, we're pretty much downwind the airfield now. See it there. So, auto brakes are set, QNH is set. Uh, in fact, we might as well stay at 180 actually. Still got a few track miles to go. Uh, I would like to turn the markers on. I do like having the marker beacons on. I think it's that one, I'm not entirely sure. It's a fairly lengthy approach, so I'm not necessarily in any rush to uh, get the flaps down any lower at the moment. Still got quite a bit of downwind to go. The airfield's somewhere up here. In fact, you can just about see it there. I can just see it. Um, what was our VRAF? It was 130, wasn't it? 124 plus 5, 130 will do then, yeah. You just spin the speed bug back in a moment. Pretty much level the run fit, uh, runway now. <laughs> it's really slow now, isn't it? That's, that's funny. <clears throat> I guess the engines are finally quieting down. They are noisy buggers on this thing. past the threshold. So I'll start pulling the speed back in a moment. Get ahead of the curve slightly. And we'll take flat 15. That does look cool, I do like that animation. Slightly slotted flap there as well. These will all be slotted when they come down a bit further. Just brings the nose down more than anything. And I'm solely relying on this, as we say, the Navigraph moving, Graph's moving map is just not having any of it. And 
and then we'll be going down to 3000. So I can pre key that in. Can't start that descent until so we're past this waypoint. <clears throat> what was the temperature here actually? That's a good question. It doesn't feel particularly warm. Temperature nine degrees. So I am going to put the anti-ice on. One seventy is fine. We can uh, pull that speed back once we uh, get on to final. And there we go. We can now descend a smidge more. Why is it turning so hard? I don't like the autopilot on this thing at all. Massively overturned there. The speed's good though, it's it's doing reasonable on speed. Pull that up for you. Low fuel, yeah, I'm well aware of that. going to overturn here as well but we'll see so lights on and it's raining lovely how much does that wreck my frame rate really so approach take gear down arm the spoilers Gear is down, three green, and we'll take flat 20. Pretty good on the localizer, pretty good on the glide. And we can slow down to our V-Ref. Flap 25. Platform. 
nice to see the runway at some point. <laughs> this weather, man. So yeah, we're fully configured. We're bang on the localizer and glide. Uh, we're bang, more or less bang on our V ref. As soon as I'm visual, I'll kill the autopilot. I can just about see a, a leading light there. We'll kill the autopilot and uh, do the rest by hand. Oh, I hate how they are out of sync. But uh, at the moment, I'm not visual, so just got to get below this cloud layer. Almost there. enough so let's bring her in yeah oh so I'm fixed joystick cam yeah Weird coming in this way, very rarely on zero nines whenever I fly into Heathrow. One thousand's checked. I think our decision will be about 200. I didn't actually key it in though. Smidge low. Lighten that crosswind a bit. I right, move the mouse, that's really annoying. Wind. Really, you're in the aircraft. Seventy knots reverses away. Oh. And then I need to get my airport chart up. Can't quite get off there. Taxi in usual standard. Well, it wasn't a bad touchdown, what was it? 143? Something like that. Considering I had a huge lag spike. Okay, so off the runway then. Transponder to TARA. Task, task, 
Oh, shush. And strobes can come off. Phew, excuse me. And landing lights can come off, and runway turn off lights can come off. The anti ice can come off. Good. Fuel, We're not though, are we? And we trundle all the way back up to uh, Terminal Five. Not what I thought that one was. God, that's hard taxiing like that. <laughs> right, we're getting close to Terminal 5 now, so uh, our friend Apu can come on. Nice Ryanair taxi going on here, 40 knots. It's absolutely not breaking any rules. I think this aircraft's just about small enough that I can go in my usual spots. Although I'm not overly confident. Certainly fit better than the Dreamliner did. I don't know where they actually parked. So I've never been to Heathrow actually. So I don't know where 7.5s used to park when they were uh, in operation. Squeeze the brakes ever so slightly. Well, it wasn't too bad. I mean, the aircraft's not too bad. A bit clunky in parts. At least the flight director stayed on and didn't do what the Dreamliner did and just kept turning itself off. It was very weird. Don't understand. Just absolutely don't understand why it was doing that. So the APU is on. Turn the APU bleed on. Just in case the uh, air conditioning needs it. When we kill the engines. And we'll go up to the usual spot. Probably got the Dreamliner in there. That's a wider gate. Huh. Uh, yeah, we'll go in here. Why not? Taxi light comes off. Bit 
the throttle to get us around the corner. I think we should get both jetways. I'm not sure if so it'll do both. Brakes are spongy. Okay, so uh, parking brake can come on. Cut off both engines. Mega lag spike. Wheel chocks can come on. These irritating out of sync wipers can come off. And they can be opened, that can be opened, that can be opened. External power means we can turn a poo off. And then, let's see if I can do it from here. No triggerable objects, we'll see about that. Which doors are going to go for? I'm going to go for the middle door. Or middle window. Thinking about it. Don't run over my engine. Yeah, it's going to do that door. Okay. That is fine. We'll open that door. Passengers can get out and all that good stuff. I'm not going to bother doing a full, uh, full shutdown. Uh... I think that is probably it. Uh, yeah, no triggerable objects, but it's just done the jetway. Oops. Oh, how strange. Well, there we go. 7-5, Paris Shell School to London Heathrow. I desperately hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next one.